Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are live from beautiful Cannes, France for Data Cloud Global Congress. And joining me today for our very first interview of JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the net networks within, we have Paul Everett. He is the Director of Virtual Design and Construction with Everett Mission Critical. Paul, welcome. Thank you so much for having me and great to be here in beautiful Côte d'Azur, France. Fantastic. It is so beautiful and you speak French. Seulement un peu. So bonjour, <laughs> bonjour to our uh, viewers tuning in. And it's been an amazing day so far here at Data Cloud Global Congress. The floor just opened. Everything is buzzing. Uh, there's people here from all around the world, which brings me to my first question. There are so many new data center projects all around the world. And Everett, as a leader in global data center design and construction, how are you keeping pace? We're certainly trying our hardest and demand is certainly increasing a lot and the scale of the projects that we're working on has also increased exponentially. So making sure that we're keeping up with the quality that our clients demand in our engineering designs is something that we've had to really develop our workflows to make sure that we're delivering the quality of product that our clients have come to know and expect from us. Um, so when we're working in new and global markets, again, our, our head office is in Dallas, so that's kind of where we're most familiar. But as we're branching into new markets and connecting with colleagues here in the EMEAs, um, certainly making sure that we are leveraging local knowledge and expertise and really working with different stakeholders. Uh, we're so lucky that we get to work with such qualified people on these projects and the knowledge that they have, that kind of wealth of knowledge, is something that we really look to tap into to make sure that we're maintaining our, our workflows and our quality when we're delivering projects now uh, all across the globe. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about some of the advanced digital technology technologies that you guys are using. Uh, generative design and things like that. Yeah, uh, happy to. And certainly with my role as director of virtual de design and construction, this is the area of the company that I oversee and I like to talk most about. So it might need more than five minutes, but I'll, sure. I'll work to keep it brief here. Um, what we really do with uh, our technology, again, and I mentioned communication earlier, what we use technology is an ability to kind of enhance and leverage communication amongst all project stakeholders. It's not meant to be a, we create a, a fancy model or animation and we push it out. We really use it to facilitate uh, collaboration and communication amongst all party stakeholders. Um, so a generative design, that allows us to simulate different uh, thousands of different design iterations in kind of one uh, program. So we find that with traditional designs, we have inherent biases that we're trending towards. And even if we don't realize them, those biases are there and things that we have preferences on. Generative design allows us to take a much more neutral approach. And maybe we end up at a very similar result with our design through generative design, but allows us to know that or evaluate lots of different options that maybe our inherent biases would make us blind to or not make us consider. Um, and then also with simulation, we do a lot of 4D simulation, so we, where we tie our project schedule to the model, um, and that helps us evaluate really the construction logistics. So as engineers, we want to make sure not only are our designs for the mechanical and electrical systems as efficient as possible, but we also want to make sure that we're factoring in details of constructability and maintainability, really factoring in the whole project life cycle into our engineering designs. 4D simulation has been instrumental in helping us do that. Um, it allows us to visualize, identify challenges, and certainly as we're expanding into new markets, allows us to evaluate if we're gonna have site constraints or specific site challenges right at the onset of design that we can help mitigate and uh, again, create a quality engineering product for our clients. Yeah, so speaking of clients, any specific projects or partnerships that you'd like to highlight today? Uh, what I can say is we are rapidly growing with our clients. Um, certainly, we've enjoyed the work that we've done with them across the Americas. Uh, we're now taking that work a lot into EMEA, um, so the European, uh, Middle East, and Asian markets uh, that we're very excited to be expanding upon. Our team are rapidly growing, um, so we are growing internally and with partners as well, and uh, really looking forward to share some exciting announcements uh, through, our, through our average channels in the upcoming days. 
And where can viewers go if they want to learn more about Everett Mission Critical? Uh, come visit our website. Come visit us if you're here at the show. Um, it's beautiful outside and beautiful in here as well. But uh, please is. come and visit us at the booth or visit us at Everett.com. And always happy to facilitate uh, conversations amongst great colleagues and uh, peers in the industry. Yeah. And if you are here at the show, they are booth number 55. Say correct. Yeah. And viewers, thank you for tuning in to an episode of JSA TV live from Data Cloud Global Congress in beautiful Cannes. I'm Buffy Harakitis from JSA. Thank you for tuning in. Happy networking.